part of my morning chores, aside from getting rabbit food and letting the chickens out into their runs, is collecting worms. I'm rebuilding my worm bin, and I'm going to keep it around for multiple reasons. But sometimes I find stuff like this, and stuff like this, a little snail, there's a little slug inside of it, goes to Miss Beauty. Oh, here you go, girlfriend. Here. She got it. Good girl, beauty. Whoops, no, 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 no. You oh, you guys are all trying to escape. Look it, I'm gonna put you in a nice home, okay? Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I fed them yesterday. I'm just gonna dump them in. Right on, get some grub, wormies, before you become grub for the chickens. Hey everybody, Ann here, and now I can have my coffee after I've done my morning chores. That's how it goes. Every morning before I've even had my coffee, I go out and uh, do the rabbit thing, do the chicken thing, and now I'm collecting worms because I want to build that back up. And, um, well, it did rain last night, so I didn't have to water all the plants, so that's good. And it's going to rain a little bit later on today, so... I, I don't think I'm going to have to water them at all. I collected more water, so that's awesome. Anyhow, um, I keep forgetting to tell you guys about Cayenne. Well, um, my neighbors next door, who I got her from, suffered a terrible predator attack, and they lost every single one of their chickens, except for the little tiny baby ones. They've got 12 or 15 of them that were not part of it. They were sectioned off. Um, so they've taken measures to prevent that happening again, but of course, imagine the dis devastation. I was devastated when I lost three, well, five altogether. Um, but I can't imagine the horror <laughs> of walking out and finding that. So I asked Papa Neighbor if he wanted Cayenne back, and he he said, well, that's your chicken now, and um, I know they love their Easter eggers, and they only gave her to me because the other chickens were picking on her, but the other chickens aren't there now, so I gathered her up, and I walked her right back over there, so she's in a safe place now, she's doing great, she's growing, she's going to start laying eggs any time now, so that, that made me feel good to be able to do that. Anyhow, um, at the very least today, I'm going to finish the cheese, so you'll get to see that, and um, who knows what else is going to go on. I was out touring my property, and then all of a sudden, phew, it starts raining. So I've got everything lined up to capture water. Every little container I have to capture water, I'm going to do it. And um, But I did find some things, some cool things that are coming up. Out on the property and I got back in just in time I got a little bit soaked but that's okay so once it stops raining I will take you around and show you the things that I found that are so cool it has stopped raining I had to change shirts so let's go have a look around I have never grown apples before and I can't even see this because my screen is kind of dark but these this is where blooms were is that an apple is that an apple, you guys? I got them all over the place. Let me find another one. Here's another one. Can you see that? Is that an apple? I have no idea. You know what? I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to get some rope and pull it this way and stake it down better because it's starting to lean. <laughs> it might just be because of this rain. But yeah, we need to do better with this tree here because it's just going to keep leaning over. So, I haven't seen any blooms on this one yet, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure they're going to come. Look at all those beautiful leaves. Remember this from last year, you guys? The honeysuckle is coming back. And you know what's so funny is there's been viney things growing all over the place and I get annoyed by it because I trip over it so I've been cutting some of it down. Well, it turns out <laughs> it's honeysuckle. So yeah, look at that all over the place. There is an absolutely huge crop of it growing up this tree along with poison ivy. But I'm going to have 
a ton of honeysuckle coming up. And I've already picked one of the blooms and pulled the little thing out and tasted it. Yeah, I am happy. But right now, what I got to do is go inside, wash my hands, and finish the cheese. It is time to take this thing down. There's a little bit more whey in there. It's not draining anything anymore. So it is time to do the next steps. I've washed my hands. Let's just kind of open this up. Looks pretty gosh darn good, doesn't it? So this next part, all I'm going to do is, well, roll it in little balls and then roll it in. This is just Italian seasoning. You can use any kind of seasoning you want. I've made them spicy by rolling them in hot peppers and um, stuff like that. But today, we're just going to do it in Italian seasoning. I'm going to try and fill this jar up right here. And if I can fill that up, then that's great. Basically, I should have put some oil on my hands. That's okay. I'm not going to make them real big. Just kind of like this. Yeah. Just kind of like that. Beautiful. And then you just roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Get it nice and coated. <laughs> See that? And just put it in your jar very carefully. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just keep doing this. Don't worry, I won't make you watch me do the whole batch. I'm just going to do a couple. Get it nice and round. Kind of compacted. Lovely. And roll it in your herbs. And you can also save them plain. I have saved dream cheese plain and then I have used it in sweet dishes. Uh, I've made uh, cheesecake with it. It's great for cheesecake because basically it's very similar to cream cheese, just tastier. And I'm gonna get a mess. That's okay. That's part of the fun. There we have it, folks. Um, I got this jar about as full as I want it to be. There is 15 balls in here. This is a quart jar. So I decided to fill, just make a few balls of just the plain because I want to make a sweet treat out of it at some point. It's not enough to make um, like a cheesecake, but uh, I wanted a few plain. So now all I have to do is pour the olive oil very carefully over it. You want to make sure that they are all covered. Wipe off the rim before you do this. Well, you might need to do it again afterwards, depending on how careful you are. But you want to make sure all of the balls are covered, and I put in a little bit extra. So now, we're going to pour some in here. So I can make something sweet with this cheese. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. There we go, folks. It is done. I want to taste it. Well, I already did taste it because I licked my fingers. And it is absolutely delicious, especially with the Italian seasoning on it. So I am going to store these in a cool, dark place. If it gets too hot inside the tiny house, I might stick them out in the ice chest. But you really don't have to because it's got salt in it. It has the active live cultures from the yogurt and the olive oil also acts as a preservative. I mean, people have been using olive oil to preserve things for many, many years. So they say this tastes best after it's been marinating for a week or two. So I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my hardest not to try any for at least a week. At least a week and then maybe I'll just try one and then let you know how it is. Well, I already know how it is. It's gonna be delicious. And this cheesecloth, I'm actually going to see if I can just wash it because this is really good cheesecloth and it says it's reusable so I'm thinking I'm going to be able to get this cleaned out so I can reuse it another time.
It has been raining off and on all day, so no other projects got done. I did manage to uh, tie up that apple tree. I'll show you that tomorrow. Papa's being a good boy as usual. I got salmon patties that I'm going to make here in a little bit and salmon patty sliders. I'm going to put them on those little Hawaiian buns. Anyhow, um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll take all three days worth of cheese making and make one video. Um, it'll probably be like a second video of the day, so um, I just want to have it on my playlists, you know, my, my food and preserving cooking playlist for my convenience basically and yours too uh but yeah nothing else nothing else is going on so that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.